This clip is brought to you by 8 Sleep Mattresses, the temperature control Tesla of beds that automates your sleep. Sleep better and enjoy this clip. Single, like, okay, number one, if you're, if you're a single parent, or if you're a parent, do not underestimate the power of sports for a kid. Mm -hmm. Cause I was the same shit. My mom put me in soccer. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah. She put me in soccer. <laughs> but I played that. I can tell by your arms you play soccer. <laughs> I played that. No, but I played that for 15 years. And a lot of the coaches that I had were like father figures for me. I was able to be around a lot of other younger men okay. and other, other, other yeah. boys. And that's one thing. That's one reason that like helped me keep my physicality in my adult years, right? Yeah. So that sports are fucking powerful. Like parents put your kids in a sport, 100%. even if they don't want to. Because I think when I started soccer, I didn't want to play soccer, but she just made me. <laughs> made you know? yeah. Yeah. It was good for you. <laughs> she made me. Yeah, yeah, a kid sick, doesn't man. know. A kids don't know like uh, what's good for them, so they're gonna complain. Mm -hmm. They're gonna complain. But when they get, there'll be an age where they won't complain, and they'll be like. They'll be grateful, yeah. you know, if they're 15, 16, they start getting good at that sport because they've already been playing it for a little mm -hmm. bit. They'll be grateful. Right. Yeah. I think every le life lesson like now don't don't even add up to the life lessons I've had in football. Mm. It, made, it made life so much easier. Like, mm -hmm. it's just crazy. Like, this is everything we learned on the field, all the all the moments, everything like it's just like life is just like so much more like easier how to control, how to react to certain people. Yeah. It just gave you that and how to like the community base and like how the team could work together to push Sports forward. Sports teaches you a lot of great things. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, just a lesson of like, shit ain't always gonna work out for you. Even when you do think you do the best job mm -hmm. and you do the things that are in your best interest and you follow what the coach says and you try to buy into all these things, your team still loses. You still might not get that scholarship. You still might not beat that other guy because that other guy from the other schools might be faster, he might be better. He might be whatever, right. and eventually you'll have to stop playing. Like even if you make it to the pros, like then what? Yeah. You know, you, there's always like the end. Then what? It's like okay, you you wanted to get a scholarship. It's like well, you got a scholarship, and then are you going to be able to play at the college right. level? And then right. you're able to play at the college level. And it's like you wanted to make a pro team. Then maybe you <laughs> are blessed. And you the know, percentage and, gets smaller too. Like yeah. my story, like. I was I grew up in Albany. It's like New York is not a big football state. Mm -hmm. So like when I was uh, when I got to my like coaches seeing me performing well, but they wanted me perform well against four star, five star. So I went to North Carolina, uh, Matthews when I was my term was eighteen. My mom sent me down there because they wanted to see if I could perform against caliber athletes that grew up and bred this and bred the sport. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I mean, obviously I, I passed that test because I showed up and I, I renewed I had to do to, to make it happen. You know, it made me an opportunity to get a full scholarship to play ball. And it's just like, the, I tell kids like, the percentage gets smaller. You're always gonna have somebody out there better than you, but what gonna make you different than the other kid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think in high school on the East Coast, from what I remember, like New York doesn't even have that same system, right? Like mm -hmm. as you go down south, right, you get to the Carolinas and you get to like Florida and yeah. stuff like that. That's where they have that kind yeah, of system. Yeah, you can't make like, state like they, a lot of them upstate are like they like they just not existing no more because mm -hmm. it's not getting funded. So yeah. But, um, this down south is more more of the, like one year football education. That's it. Yeah, yeah. The, the those football teams down there, they're like, uh, it's like people will go, like they'll specifically go to some of these schools because mm -hmm. they know they're going to be on like a good football team. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And in New York, it's just like, oh, I'm just in this school district. Yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. drive 45 minutes to a school to, you know, you hop on a bus every day and, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> Get your ass hauled <laughs> off to school. It's different. Like yeah. the, the, the whole town is not set up for football. But right. as soon as you go south, Different. Especially like in Texas and stuff mm -hmm. like that, oh, then that's where like high school football is a huge deal, and people strategically like will live in certain areas and to make sure their kid goes to the yeah. best school because then you can get recruited mm -hmm. easy. But if you're in New York, it's actually really rare for someone yeah. to get uh, picked up uh, for a scholarship because they're like there's just not great the football talent, in New York. Yeah, yeah. talent like the, like when we went to that prep school, every running back was a D Division One running back. Mm -hmm. It was like who who's gonna be the best Division One running back? Who's gonna be healthy throughout the whole season? And now that, that's what it came down to. It's like, to. yeah, you scored 40 touchdowns, but so did everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> somebody else, like <laughs> yeah, from a different okay. state, you know? Mm -hmm. Their talent might be better than yours, but can you start over them yeah. in the game? Yeah. And that's how it was. Like, who would perform? Like, you get five, oh yeah, I get five carries this game. Who's gonna do the most with that five carries? Mm hmm. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord.
All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right? Peace.